Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 5, and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this well, tablet. Now, I'm doing this the second time around, so sorry if I sound a little bit agitated by this, but the damn tablet has back in this space, and it also uh, has the other back in the same place. So once I almost finished the actual bypass, recording this the first time around, it accepted both of them and went back to Wi-Fi connection page, completely breaking the entire process that I spent time doing. So now I get to repeat it. Anyway, obviously you can see that the tablet is locked. We have the verify uh, crap right here. So let's go back to the Wi-Fi connection page and in here you want to connect to your Wi-Fi and scroll down, select add and then an SSID, type in youtube.com. There we go. Once you have typed it in, hold the text, this will select the entire thing and then give you these couple options. You want to select the second one, which is a chain link, and this will take you to the YouTube. And here, click on the account icon, open feedback, and in describe your issue, you're going to type in delete, and it shows up as a suggested, or disable apps on Android. You click on it and click on the step one right over here, top to go to application settings. And we're gonna now start off with selecting more, show system, and then selecting Android setup, which is already an, uh, disabled for me. So you want to make sure that it's disabled. So by default, it's gonna look like this. You wanna select disable, disable app, go back, then select the second Android setup because there are two of them. And make sure that you select for stop in here. That's the only option that you're going to have. And go back again. Scroll down to Google Play Services. Play Store. Play Services. There we go. So once you find them, select Disable, Disable App, for stop, and OK. And now go back and scroll even further down to Settings. Again, there's two different settings. We are interested in the first one right up here. As you can see, that's how the icon looks like. Once you click on it, it does have the open option. The second one does not. So if you opened up the wrong one, I'll go back and just open the second one, which has this option. Once you open it up, it takes you to phone's settings or tablet settings in this case. And in here, you want to scroll down to additional settings right here and then select accessibility accessibility mini and enable it. I already have enabled it. Like I mentioned, I'm doing this the second time around. So some of the things are already done. So make sure you enable it. And once you have done so, hold your power key and select reboot. Now, while the device is actually rebooting, I'm going to quickly mention something uh, that you might get discouraged during. So we're going to need to hold uh, volume up and volume down to access the accessibility menu. And from there, you're going to tap on Google Assistant, which is somewhere right here, which will then uh, show you, which will then show you right here, a settings button, which you want to click. And that will redirect you to Google Play Services page where you want to select enable, which is right here. Now, it sounds all simple uh, on paper, but the problem is you need to do it quick and you need to do keep repeating this several times till you actually manage to enable it. So don't get discouraged. Uh, most likely if you're getting to that page, you're doing everything correctly. Uh, it won't always open. Uh, it won't always show you even the, the thing that you need. So I'm going to show you probably several times how I'm trying to attempt this. So volume up and volume down at the same time. This will bring up this page, which as you can see, it disappears sometimes. Uh, so you need to be quick about it. I'm going to go assistant and settings didn't show up. Nothing happened. Great. Again, nothing happened. Again, nothing happened. <laughs> 
as you can see there the settings was visible but nothing happened when I clicked on it once the screen goes black and just slides uh, you don't even bother pressing on the button because nothing will happen As you've seen, for a little, like a, maybe a frame, it showed up the option, though that was not enough time to actually interact with this. Now, uh, I'll be honest, I know this works because I have done this the first time around and I screwed up after I have done this. I'm getting significantly more frustrated with this because it's taking me more tries than it did the first time around when I was recording it, making it absolutely more annoying. Considering I already did succeed at this. Now, truth be told, this is probably the default uh, experience that you will have, which is failure right here. Because some genius, whoever designed this UI, decided that accessibility menu will be under holding volume up and volume down for some absolutely effing retarded reason. Normally, uh, just to put that in context, you could have just pressed a single button and access it without a problem. But here, no, you have to constantly hold these damn two buttons. There we go. Took me only a dozen tries and uh, insane amount of frustration here. But yeah, there we go. As you can see, it is enabled. Now, be very very careful and patient what you're gonna do now which is I'm gonna press on this back button now I'm gonna select the bottom one and there we go we can now proceed further so from here select whatever you want it doesn't really matter what you select right here because the device is to be told still locked so you want to simply just finish up the setup right now And once you have access to your home screen, you're going to navigate into the settings. You're going to scroll down to... Actually, no, not scroll down. We're going to go into About Phone. And in here we have Factory Reset. I'm going to select this button right here, Erase All Data, Factory Reset, and then wait 10 seconds here and 10 seconds on another page because that's showing me, so they think that you're incompetent. So anyway, um, once you press on next, you will have the next option, which is OK. Once you click on OK, it will begin the factory reset of your device, which you do want to do. Like I mentioned, the tablet is at this moment still locked, but when you press on this OK button and it begins factory resetting it, it removes any kind of protections that were previously set on this device, uh, therefore fully unlocking it. So this will bring you back to the setup screen of your tablet, but at that point, uh, you can go to your to that setup however you like. You can add your Google account and all that stuff. It's uh, it's gonna act like it's a new device at that point. I'm not gonna go through this on a video just because it would waste a little bit of time uh, for no apparent reason because it is a factory reset which shows you absolutely nothing. And then it's just a simple setup of the actual tablet which again I'm pretty sure you know how to do. So this would conclude the bypass of this tablet and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.